You want to learn all these amazing calisthenic skills like front lever, muscle up or handstand push-ups, but you're just a beginner and you're not really sure how to really start, then this is the right video for you. I will give you 7, in my opinion, amazing exercises to start calisthenics. And additionally, some tips and tricks. Let's get right into it. Number 1. The L-Sit Hold Holding a perfect L-Sit is quite difficult, especially for beginners. Especially if you're not using parallels, but you do it just on the ground. But you will help yourself a lot if you have some elevation with, for example, parallels or books. You have your arms stretched out at all times, then you elevate from the ground and put your knees towards your chest. This variation is much easier than having your legs completely stretched out. Then it's also not really an L-sit anymore, more like a M-sit. Whatever. Anyhow, it's a great exercise to strengthen your arms, core, abs and body tension in general. From this position you can approach the L-sit step by step. As soon as you master this move, do this exercise, which is basically a transition between the L-sit and the tuck planche. A very similar exercise to the L-sit hold are leg raises. Start with your knees first and work all your way up. The next exercise, one of my favorites, pike push-ups. Obviously an absolutely important exercise to master the handstand push-ups. The main muscles targeted are of course all the arm muscles and the upper chest, but especially the shoulders. In calisthenics, strong shoulders are needed for so many different skills, like for example the planche. I'm not even sure if there is a move where you do not need any shoulder strength. The higher your hips are above your shoulders, the more difficult this move is. You can even make it more difficult if you use additional height. Pike push-ups will really revolutionize your push-up and pull-up game. The next exercise is one where you need a bar, skin the cat. A killer exercise for your abs, core and your back. The hardest part here is actually to go up. I saw it already a couple of times that beginners did not have a hard time in the transition, but more in the initial movement. The transition is also relatively easy, you just have to take care not to fall on your head. So a strong grip is obviously extremely important. Keep your arms straight and keep body tension at all times. I think I don't have to mention that this is an absolute prerequisite to master the front lever and the back lever. As soon as you are a bit more comfortable with this move, try different leg positions. Don't use any momentum, especially in the beginning, only pure strength. The next exercises are super basic, pull-ups and chin-ups. Well, quite obvious, right? Generally, pull-ups and chin-ups will greatly improve your upper body strength. And having strong and stable pull-ups is a necessity for muscle-ups. If you have a hard time with pull-ups, try chin-ups in the beginning, but they predominantly activate the frontier muscle groups, while regular pull-ups activate the posterior muscle groups, like for example the back more. If all is still too difficult, start with bodyweight rows. They are not that difficult and they activate your back muscles in a similar way. If you want to improve your pull-up game, check out these 5 common beginner mistakes. Next one, the hollow body hold. A static exercise which looks kind of easy, but trust me, it can be hell. One minute into it and you will start to break a sweat. As you have to keep your whole body under tension, almost all muscle groups in your whole body are engaged. And this makes it tough. But there is an easier version, which is called, or let me call it, the V-hold. This position takes away some tension from your extremities, which makes it slightly easier. However, many people forget to breathe during this exercise. But breathing is absolutely crucial, otherwise you will lose energy and strength really fast. The hollow body hold is fantastic for any static skill, for example for the front lever or back lever. Thereby it's very similar in regards to muscle activation. An alternative to the hollow body hold is its cousin, the butterfly hold. Focus on contracting your core and ab muscles, like this you will get most out of these exercises. Exercise number 6 is the frog hold. For the planche and planche variations, 
an absolute must. As you can imagine. It also looks kind of cool. Just kidding. But what I love about this exercise is that you again tension all the muscle groups in your body and you get used to the stress on your wrists and forearms. It's actually not difficult at all and after some repetition it will become your warm-up. You have your arms straight, you lean to the front and then you hold the position. The harder version of the frog hold is the advanced frog hold. Very creative. All in all, a great exercise if you want to learn the handstand or the planche one day. And for the end, something for your legs, pistol squats. In my experience, I would not say that pistol squats are really difficult. I made the experience that balance is the more difficult part, if you make it unsupported. Still stressful for your quads and great for the beginning. Of course, start with regular squats first. You not only strengthen your quads and your balance, also other muscle groups as well, such as your core for example. Hold on an object in the beginning and then release step by step. And as always a bonus exercise, side planks. Super underestimated. You can combine them with regular planks and side plank push-ups. Later mentioned will give you a great boost in learning the human flag as the side muscles are targeted. From top to bottom an effective whole body exercise. That's already it guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope these exercises will act as a jumping board into your calisthenics journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, stay healthy and see you next time.